A Muni viscometer consists of a heated lower and upper die as well as an embedded rotor. The rotor is turning with a predefined speed according to international standards typically 2 rpm. The rotor has a serrated design in order to properly transfer the torque to the torque measurement system attached to the rotor shaft. In order to do a Mooney viscosity or scorch test, first it is required to set an appropriate test sequence in the software or on the control panel attached to the instrument. To actually start a test and insert the sample, the rotor needs to be removed from the die area. As the die as well as the rotor are heated, always wear heat protection gloves before working with the rotor. Put one sample onto the rotor shaft and make sure to move any residue from the rotor shaft. Then, when doing Mooney viscosity tests, using testing film is recommended for an easier removal of the sample and less cleaning of the dies. Insert the rotor into the central shaft. Make sure that it's correctly inserted with a square completely in the drive shaft. Never close the machine with the square not correctly inserted. Always make sure the rotor is correctly put in the drive train. Then put another sample on top. Both samples together should have a volume of at least 25 cubic centimeters to correctly fill the dies. Put another sheet of testing film on top and then hit the start button on the front of the instrument. This will close the safety shield as well as the main platens. During a triple kill Mooney viscosity test the rotor is preheated for one minute. Afterwards the rotor is turning at a speed of 2 rpm embedded in the material and the torque on the drive shaft is measured, converted to Mooney units and plotted on a graph of the computer. Optionally, stress relaxation can be measured by stopping the rotor after typically four or eight minutes test time and measuring decay. Once the test is completed, safety shield and dies will automatically open. Now the rotor and tested material can be removed from the die. Take the mounting lever, take out the rotor, use the mounting lever to peel off the tested material from the rotor. Before either running the next test or putting the rotor back in the dies, carefully clean the rotor from any residue. Always make sure the rotor is in a perfect clean condition If there is no further testing required, always put the rotor back into the dies, as well as it's recommended to put the instrument into standby mode to preheat the rotor and have it available for next tests. From time to time, at least after every tenth test, a cleaning of the rotor shaft is recommended. Therefore, Remove the rotor from the die and use the provided wire brushes to clean the rotor shaft and remove any material residue from the die area. Always wear heat protection gloves as the dies are heated. Also, use the provided stainless steel wire brush to remove any material residue from the lower as well as from the upper die. Once completed, put the rotor back into the die as well as make sure that all tools are removed 
from the die and working area. Whenever the test temperature is changed or after every 25 tests, a balancing of the Mooney viscometer is required. Balancing means that the friction of the rotor seal is measured, which is then used as a compensation during every test. To start the balancing, select the Mooney balance function, which can be found in the center of the Mon Control software. The Mooney balance is done without any material inserted. So please put the rotor into the dies and make sure that there are no tools or no other items and no test material in the working area. Click OK to proceed with the balancing. Now the rotor is turned with 2 RPM and the friction of the seal is measured. Please be patient to complete the balancing. Now balancing is completed and the instrument is ready for testing again.